Hello, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to replace our drive mode selector on our 2021 Toyota RAV4. Come on, let's check it out. All right, so we're replacing our drive selector buttons to this particular one. So this is the uh, drive selector uh, that is available on the TRD Off-Road and Adventure, I guess. So this is the knob type, and I got this from Car Trim Home. So if, it's, uh, if you're interested, it's available on their website. You can use my discount code FG7P. Uh, to save 7%. So, yeah, so this is genuine Toyota parts. According to the packaging, it has the part number uh, for the Toyota. So, yeah, I'm excited to install this. I just like the way it looks compared to the all buttons. So, I just like this. And for sure, uh, on my particular car, this one, this button will not work. The DAC or downhill uh, assist control, this will not work because my car, the RAV4 that I got, doesn't have a downhill assist control from the factory. So I expect that this will not work. All right, just a heads up, that will not work. All right, so yeah, let's proceed with the install. All right, so uh, for this, we have to remove the this panel in here. So I don't remember how I remove it before. Uh, but again, let's try first. Uh, so I think I need to lower this. Do I need to? I don't know. But let's remove it. By pulling this panel from the front here and pull it like that, and then the rest should follow. Again, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, <laughs> so but this is the way I'm gonna do it. So it has some screws, so we need to remove this. There's a pin in here holding the shift knob in place. So you just need to remove that. This one, you can see here. So just need to set that aside, don't lose it. Then we can remove the shift knob. And now we can pull this slowly there will be a cable the bottom so as you can see there and just need to remove that all right so now it is removed we need to remove this from here so I think one, two, three. So there will be three Phillip head screw that we need to remove and we can pop this out and we can pop the new one in. All right, and before we do that, actually I'm curious if this plugs in here. It does plug in. All right. That is a good sign, I guess. So, yeah. So, let's work on this one. Should be a quick swap if everything goes to plan. All right. So now we just need to unclip some of the area where it clips. I think that's all. All this one is 
clip in here I need to get a, a long nose uh, to pry that out okay so we need to listen uh, two more screws in here they're not connected here but it is to release it so it's just a plate that we need to remove the screws from um, Okay. I'm just going to remove it by hand since we're working inside the car I don't want to drop anything in there It is loose already. Okay. As you can see, it's just need to get some stuff out of the way. There you go. So it is out. So just to compare this, same size, hopefully it works. So now we're going to put this one in. If I can, hold on, I need to release this just to make it easier. Uh, there you go, there's some tabs. So release the tabs to make it easier, guys. There you go. So, the other one no follow. This guy here in the front. There you go. So just lift that. This is the lights for the shifter. So now we can simply put it in here. So it has some notches. in on the other side should work there you go just have to angle it properly and push it and it's gonna be in place still have to fix it there you go so yeah Hmm, like it. So I think everything is clipped in. Yep, yep, everything is lining up. Now we just need to put back the LED for the shifter. Just need to clip that. There you go. There you go. Hmm. Like it. Yeah. All right. So just put the screws back and we're going to plug it back in. All right. Be right back. All right. So everything is uh, screwed down. So we just need to plug in the cables. An easy plug and play. Let's 
so I know it's kind of unnecessary uh, switching it to this one but personally I like the look of this one compared to the uh, all push uh, button I like the one that has this so now we're gonna uh, let's plug it back in there you go and then let's put back the shift knob and the pin there you go and then the boot all right so now let's check it all right I'll be right back gonna move on the driver's side all right so for this let's try it let's start the engine let's see um, if it shows anything Parking brake unable to disengage, press brake, okay, so I'll do that. So parking brake, engage and disengage, it works. So as you can see here, I'll press it or I'll pull it, it will turn red, meaning it works. And my paddle, uh, while I'm stepping it, kind of went soft then the hold it needs to be well because i'm not wearing my seat belt so now but we know the function is working because it's giving us that error so now let's see if the lights for this okay so they work nice they work all right now we're gonna press the eco button now it turns green let's go back to normal so it went back, green disappears. Let's go to sport, turns red. Now the knob. So if we move to the left, mud and sand, it should show mud and sand, nice. And then, well, it shows that error because we have the mud and sand on. Now let's try the rock and dirt. It went to rock and dirt. Now let's push normal. It went back to normal. Now snow mode. And now we have snow mode. You see those, there's some uh, snowflakes and the word snow in there. Now let's try normal mode again. Let's try DAC or downhill assist. Nothing. So as expected, uh, that's not gonna work because my trim doesn't have that factory. Okay. So again, nothing. But this one with the new look, I like that better than the buttons that came with it all right so again this one works i love it i like the look better than my old one all right so if you're interested in purchasing this i'll put the link in the description below you can use my discount code that's gonna be there i'll put it in the link it's seven percent it's available at car trim home all right, again, if you like this video, please consider in subscribing. Thank you for watching.